Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. So it's my friends at yarnspirations.com. This is the new Leaf Baby Blanket designed by me. A nice, simple, easy repeat. From here all the way to here is just a two pad or two round repeat. In order to make that happen, I just changed the color. You can download the instructions to get that more information if you need it. Today, I'm gonna to take you through getting started and then I'm going to take you through the border section uh, at the end as well. So this was using um, a watermelon color but Karen Cotton Cakes when it was around. So this is spare yarn that I used. This color here never came out. I had a prototype yarn which I didn't under which I didn't know I had. And so this color is not available, but it was called Granite, but it never went to market. So using a five millimeter size H crochet hook or whatever size that you want to match the yarn that you're gonna play with today will be it. And this is a 32 inch by 32 inch as you begin the instructions, I tend to give the stitch counts per side because it's easier to count because if I give you like, for example, uh, 28 is how many per side are you gonna ask me? So I always put like the stitches per side. As we get into the repeat pattern, you'll notice is that I gave you the number. So eighth uh, to the 23rd, um, to 23rd, <laughs> uh, the 23rd, um, it's the six and seven rounds. So you're just gonna repeat. And I gave the actual stitch counts for that because people are gonna ask me and I'm gonna say, I don't know. So I figured it out for you. So you have everything and then we pick you up near to the end. So we have to put this extra instruction in here when there's a color change because we're using the color B instead of A, but it's actually still the same instruction over and over and over. And so near to the end of the project, then we end up picking up and then we do the final border, which is the leaf kind of stitch. And it's really a lot of fun. Without further ado, let's grab our hook and let's play. I'm going to be using Karen Jumbo Twirl today. The color is called Blue Ribbon. I believe it's called, let me just take a look, a Canal Ribbon. And it looks blue. <laughs> and we're going to chain the total of four. So one, two, three, and four. And slip stitch to the first chain to form the center ring. So pull through and through and just wrap this around the outside of the ring so that it gets trapped underneath in round number one. Let's begin round number one in a moment. Round number one, we're gonna start by chaining three. That'll count as your first double crochet and just pull open the ring so you can see it. And you're gonna put two more double crochet into the ring. To turn the corner, you're going to chain two. Make sure that this stays around the outside of the ring so it gets stuck underneath. So chain two and put three more double crochet into the ring. And then chain two turns. And then three more double crochet in. Chain two, we'll turn the corner. And then three double crochet back into the ring. So I like to do a half double crochet join to get me into the middle of a corner. So to do that, you're just gonna go to the top of the chain three and just half double crochet over. And so this, what I just created is the equivalent of a chain two space. And so it keeps me right into the corner and it helps to prevent the rotation of the center of your blanket. Let's move on to round number two. This blanket is a combination of using the modern granny technique as well. So every other round will be kind of similar. So as we begin, we're going to chain one and we're gonna single crochet into the space. So go right into the space and single crochet and then chain three, one, two, three, and jump over all the double crochet and just go right into the space and single crochet there. And then you are going to chain, th uh, chain um, three, so one, two, three, and single crochet into that same space. Okay, chain three and jump to the next corner, single crochet, chain three and single crochet. Okay, so chain three, jump over the double crochet, single crochet in, chain three and single crochet in. Chain three. And now you're coming to the very first space that you started with. So single crochet 
And because it's a chain three um, in the corner, I want you to chain one first and then do a half double crochet join to the first single crochet. And that will keep you into the very corner of your blanket. So if you have gone over the tail end, make sure you get rid of that so it'll be out of your way and cut it out. If you didn't weave it in, please weave it in. But if you went underneath like I did, then you can get rid of that. Let's move on to round number three. Round number three. When you start this type of round, you're going to start by chaining three. That counts as your first double crochet and put two more double crochet into that corner. You're then going to come to the next chain three space and you were going to double crochet into the space. Noticing that I never chained one after this grouping of three. The next one stitch will be a two together treble front post. And you are going to use the first one of this and the last one of this. So this and this. So you wrap the hook twice and you come around the front post of the first one directly below. Pull through two and two and hold it. Do not finish that stitch. And then wrap twice again. And we'll show this to you a few times and you'll come into the last one of that grouping of three. And pull through two and two. And once you see the three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. So this counts as the middle stitch of a technical grouping of three. So just kind of shift around and see that chain three that you were using before, you're going to double crochet back into that same chain three. And so this creates the V shape that you see in the blanket. The corner happens to be next in this round. So we're gonna go right to our corner of three double crochet. And then chain two to turn the corner and three double crochet into that same corner. So you cannot in the corners go down what we just did right here. Okay, so let's do another one. So we come into the space first, double crochet, and then we do a two together front post treble around the first one and the last one. So wrapping twice, come around down here, pull through, pull through two and two and hold, do not finish. Wrap twice again, come to the last one of that group. So it's directly below. Once you have the three loops, pull through all three, that middle stitch is now done and using that same space, just double crochet onto that chain three space. And so this is technically your grouping of three. Corner is next, three double crochet. Okay, chain two and three double crochet. So we come to the next space, double crochet first, and then do a front post treble two together with the first and the last. Pull through all three to finish that stitch, and then using that same space behind, just double crochet in corners next. So just remember three, two, and three. So three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. As we get further in this tutorial, I'll just be talking you through it. And then you can put me on pause and do the rest of the round. So last one in the round, double crochet into the space first, and then front post two together with the treble. And then double crochet into that same space. So when you get back around, you're gonna finish this corner and it will be three double crochet. And then you're going to join with a half double crochet to the top of the first chain three. 
So top of the first chain three, half double crochet. And that will conclude that round. And that's round number three. So we're going to start the next round, number four, and it's exactly what you did the first time. The difference is, is every time you go around, you get bigger and bigger. So you chain one first and single crochet into the space. Now you're going to chain three, so one, two, three. Skip over the first three double crochets you have. Everything is in groups of three. If you kind of pull it, you can see it. So one, two, and three. So go right in between the posts. So it's not a stitch, it's just a space. So one, two, three, and go in between the next grouping of three. Okay, it's right here. And you do that all the way to the corner. So then chain three, and then in your corners, it'll be single crochet, chain three, and single crochet. So just remember chain three is a magic number. So let's just start a fresh side again, chain three, come in between the first group of the three and the second, single between them, chain three, come in between the space, chain three, and go right into a corner. So the single crochet, chain three and single. Please do this all the way around and I'll see you at the end of the round in a moment. Coming all the way around, back to the first corner that we started with, we're gonna single crochet. And because it's a chain three, I need you, that usually as a corner, you're gonna chain one only and then half double crochet join to the first single crochet to keep yourself in the corner. And we're gonna move on to round number five. So round number five, we're gonna do more of this coming down. So you can only come down into the spaces where there's something solid underneath it. So there's gonna be three this time. So instead there was one, now it's gonna be three. So when you start off, you're gonna chain three and put two more double crochet into that same space. So you come into the next space, double crochet first, and then do the front uh, posts two together with the trebles. So first and last, so right directly below. Pull through all three, and don't forget to double crochet back into that same space to hold everything backward. So the back of this looks flat, just so you're aware. So then you come into the next space, double crochet first, and then front post two together. So in this case, you're using this one right here and this one, so you're going over, around the middle that are already doing it. So you go into the first one, wrap again twice, go to the last one, pull through all three, and don't forget to double crochet into that same space. So these V stitches concept will line up on top of each other, just like you see in the real sample. So they'll only do that when there's something solid like that underneath. So next one, double, and then front post treble two together. And then double crochet back in. So those doubles that are going back into that space will end up being used just like you saw here. So you'll end up in the corner. So the corners on this round is always three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet. So just remember three, two, three. Okay, so you're going to do that all the way around for this round. This is round number five. So just double and then do the two together front post treble don't forget that space again for the last double before you move on so in this case we have the next one so it's a double and so then we're going to use this one and this one And this is what's causing those stitches to line up on itself. And don't forget to double back into that same space. So please do this all the way around for round number five. 
So I'm coming up all the way back around, so I gotta finish that first corner that I started with, and then it's just a half double crochet join after the last double crochet goes in. And we're gonna move on to lucky round number six. So you can see the texture is starting to turn out. It looks more than it probably does in the camera, but it's there. And let's begin number six. Rounds number six and seven are going to be the repeating, going all the way through this thing until you get to the border. And so because of the way that instructions are written is that that's why we have to get to six and seven, just for um, repeat reasons. So we're gonna start off by chaining one and single crocheting into the corner space. And then we chain three. And then we go and separate between the spaces. So there's a group of three, 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 three. And so we just go right in between, single crochet, chain three to jump go into the between the spaces really easy to see even in person so just kind of pull it apart everything stays in groups of three one two three and eventually you'll hit the corner so one two three go right into your corner so in the corner it says single chain three and single back in and then start a fresh side so chain three to just start jumping and go in between the spaces. Do this all the way around for number six. Coming back around, I come into the space that I started with, and that because it's a chain three space equivalent, you chain one first and then half double crochet to the beginning single crochet to finish that corner. Let's begin round number seven. Round number seven is just what you already know, and so we're gonna start off in chain three and put two more double crochet into that corner and then jump to your first space. So double, and then two together, front post between the first and the last. Sorry, I did not wrap twice. You need to wrap twice uh, because it's much further down than a regular double crochet height. That's why we're doing a treble down. Okay get that done and don't forget to double back into that same space before moving on. So you'll see that more of these V shapes start showing up. So you double into the next space and then do your two together. So front, so the first one and the last one. And it kind of cuddles that other V that's already in there that builds its way out and double back into that same space. So you'll do this all the way across, and then in your corners will be three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet from what you already know, and I'll see you at the end. I'm coming around to the end of number seven, and I'm just gonna do my final corner. So it'll be three double crochet. And then just half double crochet join to the top of the first chain three. So now you're gonna go back to round number six and seven and keep on going, and I'm gonna take you back to the instructions, and then we're gonna carry on from that point. In the instructions, you're going to keep now 8th to the 23rd <laughs> uh, rounds. It's going to be repeat 6 and 7. So you can see all the stitch counts that you'll have just in case you need to have that. I really don't think you need it, but somebody's going to ask me. So you're going to have this on this page as well. And so this set of instruction is just a color change. So all it just means is that with the color B, so you're going to have this section right here is all going to be the B color right here. So that's that gray that you see within the blanket, the granite color. And then you're going to then bring back the regular color that we had for again from round number um, um, 32 to 39. And so that will take you to the end of what you have until you get to the border section. And in the border section is where we're going to start picking up from here. So once you get to this, we're going to then pick up here. So I'm going to give you a set of instructions that will uh, help make sense for you. If you would like to change the um, where the leaves are, you have to make sure that the last round that you have per side is a multiple of four plus one. So you see how it's 121 stitches or single crochet. So that's 120 divided by four is the multiple and then there's one extra. So if you wanna change the size, that's all you gotta do. So you gotta make sure it's a multiple of four and then there's one left over because we're gonna skip 
the last stitch before a corner as we get here. So what I want you to do is continue all the way. You, can, you don't even have to change color, but get yourself all the way to the 39th round. And then I'm gonna pick you up from that point at that time. So I'm going to start round number 40 next. To start round number 40, you will have the ending of, an, of a seventh row, which is these double, or which is these front post um, double, or front post trebles going down. So you're going to start number 40 by just chaining one in single crochet into the corner. So you just have to apply one single crochet in each of the stitches going all the way across. And then in the corners, you're going to do one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. So nice and simple. And it's just going to change it so that you can start working with the border at that time. So just do this all the way around for round number 40. At the end of the 40th round, we're just going to single crochet into the beginning space. And because this one here, there's not chain three, it's chain two, you're just gonna, um, and I wanna change the color, I'm going to chain two and I'm gonna slip stitch it to the beginning. So the pattern has you changing color as well. And I'm gonna change color just to make the next section easier to see. And we'll begin round number 41 in a moment. Round number 41, I'm using a new color. Come into the space and just join it and then chain one and single crochet into the same space. So all you're just gonna do on this round is the same thing and just single crochet around. And then in corners, it's gonna be one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. So do this all the way around for lucky round number 41. I'm coming up to the end of this round number 41, single crochet into the final space and then do a half double crochet join to the beginning single crochet. Let's move on and let's talk about the 42nd as we begin the stitch for making the leaves. So it happens to be a fluke, but, and I thought I was gonna have to do a lot more work, but in this size that I just did, this round here is actually a multiple four plus one. So there are 25 single crochets between the corners. And so 24 stitches is divisible by four right? So that will give you six multiples. And then because there's 25 stitches, you have that extra one stitch that's left over. So this is a multiple of four plus one. So if you want to change the size of that, that's all you got to make sure that you do is that it's divisible by four and then there's just one stitch left over. So you may have to do more rounds in order to get to that multiple, but it's something that you can decide for yourself. Let's do the 42nd round. So as you begin this round, we're going to start up and the stitch a combination that I'm doing right now is a multiple of four. So if you notice below, below this was um, granny stitches and granny is usually a multiple of three. That's why we have to have that extra stitch that's left over on each side in order to get ourselves back to a balance of, a, of an even number. And you'll see that happening. So you're going to chain three, that's your first double crochet and double crochet back into that same corner. And we're going to immediately start and do the leaf stitch. So starting in the first one, you're gonna skip the first three stitches. So one, two, three, and you're going to do a two together front pose, or sorry, two together treble right here on the fourth one away. So wrap twice and going a fourth one away, pull through, pull through two and two and hold and do it again. So wrap twice, same stitch, pull through, pull through two, and two and hold. Once you have that done, you're going to pull through all three and there is a leaf right there. So the three stitches you just skipped, you have to go behind. So just double crochet the three that you skipped. So just moving this leaf out of the way in front and just double crochet the three that you skipped, starting with the furthest one away. Okay, once you have that done, the three, you can fold that back up. So to do the next ones that you want to do is that you have to skip the next one and you're gonna do the fourth one away. So skip the, this one and do the next three. So right here, it's the fourth one away. So wrap twice, pull through, pull through two and two. Wrap twice, same stitch, pull through, pull through two and two. Once you have that confirmed, pull through all three and lean it forward and get the three that you, you jumped over. 
can just double crochet each of that. So once you get it out of the way, just use your thumb to hold it down and out of the way, and you're going to double crochet the three that you skipped. I'll show you one more time so you can fold that back up. So here's the next empty. So you skip that one, this one, this one, and go to the fourth and start with your two together treble. And then you get the ones that you skipped. So these double crochets have to be behind the work to make those leaves or make the leaves um, come towards you. So you'll notice something different in the next round. Okay, and so you're gonna do this all the way across. I'll see you close to the end of the side and then we'll review from that point. Coming closer to the first corner and I'm just filling in the three that I skipped. So you're going to notice is that there's one stitch left over before the corner, just skip it. Okay, so this is gonna make this an even number then per side. So go right to your corner and just put in your two double crochet. And then chain two, two double, and then two double crochet in. And then you start a fresh side again. So you gotta make sure you skip that last one before a corner. So to start a new side, you're going to skip the first three, go to the fourth right here, and start your leaves, leaves, nice English, right? And then lean it forward and get the ones you skipped. So do this all the way around for this round, number 42. I'll be back in a moment. Coming around on the 42nd, so I'm skipping the last one before the end. Okay, so there's nothing different there. So I'm gonna put in my two double crochet, and then I'm gonna do a half double crochet join to the top of the first chain three. Okay, and we're moving on to round number 43, next, which is the other half of the leaves. So we're about to start, and you're going to notice that the leaves are over here, and yet we're way over here. So the way that we have to start and finish these rounds to keep the leaves in alignment uh, has to be pay. You gotta pay attention to that. So we're going to start by chaining three and double crocheting into the same corner. So the next two are part of the last corner that you were in, and so you're just gonna put one double crochet in each of those. Now here's your leaf. So this here, the leaf has to come this direction. So what you need to do is skip over this one first and do the other three. So just double crochet the other three first. So skipping the first one. And then the one that you skipped, which is right here, you were going to do that two together treble. So just wrap twice and just kind of come in behind like this and just grab it. Pull through, pull through two and two and hold the rest, which is the next one. And then do that again. So wrapping twice and into the same one, pulling it through, pull through two and two, and you have your three loops through all three and that will make the leaf go in the other direction so the next leaf is up see this one so skip this one and double crochet the next three one two three and then you're going to go into the one you skipped which is right here and then you do your two together treble in that one So the trick is, is to go kind of down into that stitch. Pull through all three loops, that one's done, and then you move on. So skip the next one, which is this, and do your next three. So I'll see you closer to the new corner in just a moment. Coming closer to the end of the corner, so I got my last leaf in. So I have two double crochets before I have to get to the corner, so just double crochet each of those, and then do your corner. Okay, so the corners will be two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. So then you gotta start a fresh side just like you started. So the first two are just double crochet each, and then you start your leaves next. And like you did before, skip the first one, do the next three in a row.
and then do the front post two together. Sorry, not the front post, the, the treble two together. I'm using two different stitches on this one. That's getting me confused on the trebles. When I'm talking about it, I know what I'm doing. I just, well, sometimes. Okay, so there you got the leaves. So you skip the next one, do the next three, and then do the one that crosses back over. And you're gonna do this all the way around. And you'll see that it has a beautiful, almost a cabling look to this. Continue around for this round number 43. Finishing up the round, you just gotta do the two double crochet that are before the corner. And you'll notice that the border will sit flat after this round. Okay, and then just join with the half double crochet to the beginning, chain three. Let's move along to the next round. Okay, number 44, we're gonna go back to a single crochet. So in actual fact, 44, 45, 46, and 47 are all single crochet rows, but this row here, number 44, is the final of this color if you're doing the color breakdown. So just uh, chain one single crochet in, so just single crochet around, corners are one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. So do this around, and then in the next round, you're gonna change your color, and I'll be right back in a moment. Ending in number 44, just single crochet in the final, and because I'm changing color, I'm gonna uh, chain two and then slip stitch. So the next three rounds, they're all single crochet rounds. I'll start a new color, and I will get you there in just a moment. Rounds 45 to 47 are all the same color, and they're all single crochet rounds. So just starting in the, the first corner that you finished off of, join it, chain one, single crochet in. So single crochet all the way around, corners are one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. So I'm gonna ask you to do all three rounds, and then I'll be back. Do not fasten off this color. We're gonna do our final round together, and then I'm gonna show you the surface overlay that is used in the blanket, and I'll be right back in a moment. So get those three rounds and I'll see you at the end of number 47 in a moment. So I'm coming to the final a corner and I'm going to just do a half double crochet join. So we're now going to go to your last round. So you have this nice thick section here and we're going to do surface overlay after we get the last round done. So to do the last round number 48 is next. The signature border for my stuff tends to be a pico, and I really like it because if it's not a flat blanket, it really can kind of give that illusion that um, it was meant to be flat, but it's more ruffled. But in this case, it will be flat for you. So you're just gonna um, chain one and single crochet into the first space, which is the corner, chain three, and then slip stitch into there. Okay, this is called a pico, and you pull through and through, and then in the same space where that corner is, single crochet. So the whole thing for this entire round is that the corners will be a single crochet, pico, single crochet, but the rest of it is over two stitches. So going into the next stitch, single crochet first, then chain three, slip stitch, see right into there, pull through and through, and then single crochet in the next. And so that's over two stitches. So just start again, single crochet the next, chain three, do your pico, and single crochet the next. Please do this all the way around, and I'll see you at the end of the round in a moment. Completing the last round, and I'm just doing my final here. And so I have two rounds of surface overlay to do, which I'll show you in a second. Now we've already done this first corner, so we're just gonna slip stitch it to the first single crochet and be done. So you'll wanna weave in your ends and then you're going to get ready to do the surface overlay. And it kind of just gives it a little bit more of a punch. And so let's do the final round. We are then going to play in the surface overlay and it says to do it in the between the spots. So you're going to play in here all the way around, and then you're going to play in here all the way around. So it's just a row between each other. Start after a corner and just without anything on your hook, just going in and the yarn has to come from the back side. Do not create a slip knot, just create a loop and connect it to the crochet hook and pull through. Now behind, just leave this into your hand like you normally would if so the yarn going to you. And you were going to go to the next spot. 
and you can tighten up the very beginning in just a few moments. Okay, so you're just getting yourself started and you were just going in between the single crochet. Okay, and you're just, you don't wanna to be too tight, but you don't wanna to be too loose either. And when I come back around, I'm gonna show you uh, on the first corner on how it's gonna turn over this, and I'll be right back in a moment. So just follow that round. I'm coming closer to the first corner, and you can tell I didn't go all the way around in the last round because I'm running out of time today. So I'm going to go, and I'm gonna go right into the corner space, and then I'm gonna jump into the next space over here. So I'm continuing on that round, and that'll just naturally follow the progression around the corner. Okay, so that would be how it's gonna go around. Perfect. So I will see you close to the end to show you how to finish that off, and then you're gonna do another round on your own. So I'm zipping around and just doing my call, what's called this surface overlay. I'm coming into the corner, and then I just jump and it doesn't make sense for this concept to actually jump it to the point where you're doing it right in the corner. Just be a little bit off, as I mentioned. Now, what I need to do is that the final jump here, I'm going to have it so it connects here. So I'm not joined it yet, and I'm going to trim this yarn with the tapestry needle, or sorry, with the scissors, and I'm just gonna pull up and what I'm trying to do is that I want to make this look like it belongs. So if you use a typical slip knot or slip stitch, it looks like crap. So what you want to do is that you want to take the one that's coming out here and go in behind here. Okay. And when you pull it, make it look like the distance that the others are looking. And the first one's not secured yet, so you can pull that a little bit tighter. And then go down, see where this one's coming out of? Just go down into the same spot. And just make it look like it belongs. Do you see that? See, now you can barely tell where I started. So on the back side, when I secure it, I just wanna secure it into some of the stitch work, but I don't want to pull it tight to change that distance. Okay, so this is not a structure stitch. This is surface overlay. It's really cosmetic. So that's that one. And then you're going to want to secure the very first, just like I just showed you there with that one. And then what I need you to do is surface overlay again and surface overlay around this section right here and go all the way around with that. So the second layer is done and it's completely taken care of. You just got to weave in your ends. This area looks like sewing on the back, which is really quite desirable too. And so you can see that it turns out really quite lovely. And this here is a great little blanket to do called the New Leaf Crochet Baby Blanket. That's it for now. And we hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.